finish up my report, I would just like to uh, comment on some of the extraordinary efforts to improve the city that has happened in the last year and a half. Much has changed for the good in Trinidad since I began in se September 2010. There are two more items that I need to highlight. First, the city auditors have approved the two annual budgets since I've been here. Therefore, any concerns about by council from the budget and how it was put together are not based on fact. We have finished in a surplus for the last two years. I know I have a lot to thank to our department heads, but we all know if there was a deficit, this city council would be blaming the city manager. Second, I wrote and presented a white paper to the council that projected 12 goals and more than 90 objectives, from the, uh, objectives for the city for the next five years. Essentially, it set out my vision for growth, and development for the city of Trinidad. Council and I used this white paper as the basis of discussion in two council workshops earlier this year. I challenged each council member to write down and submit their own goals so that we could find a consensus and a mutual understanding on objectives. I was encouraged by the enthusiasm of the council members working together for a common purpose. We prepared a spreadsheet to track the status of our progress in achieving the goals and objectives. The Colorado Municipal League Executive Director, Sam Mamet, called the white paper exceptional and cautioned me that it may not be accepted by, at the local level. That was just three short months ago. Two weeks after our strategic planning conference, Mr. Bernardo and Mr. Pondo gave me a letter of termination. Nowhere or at no time two weeks prior did any of these gentlemen voice any issues with me, my job performance, or what I was doing. In summary, in performance of my duties as city manager, I have abided by the city charter and ordinances. I have initiated numerous projects, to secure increased funding and bring new businesses to the city. All of the reasons for my dismissal that were given by council members Reno, Pondo, Bernardo, and Velasquez are either the results of their efforts to micromanage and encroach on the duties of the city manager or are obvious pretexts to cover underlying personal biases. That concludes my responses. I'm here to uh, first point out to you that the, I've given you those uh, notebooks and those notebooks, the one that I gave to, to Audra, the city clerk, uh, I asked that that be made part of the record. All of them are the same. And um, so if, if you would do that, I would appreciate that. I'm here to address voting. I'm not here to address reasons, particularly. Yes, sorry. I'm here to address voting. Uh, I'm, I'm concerned this evening, as I think anyone would be. I'm sure it's on the minds of, of uh, legal counsel. I'm sure it's on the minds of, of the seven people that will do the voting to make sure that our vote is correct 
correctly made, taken, and in, in accord with the procedure. I'm concerned particularly with votes that might be cast this evening uh, that would be cast, if they were cast against Mr. Gilderubio, that they would be cast improperly. In fact, they shouldn't be cast at all. In fact, two people on this council shouldn't be voting whatsoever. Those people are Mayor Reno and Councilperson Velasquez. I'm going to read to you, start with, with a couple of affidavits. You'll find those in your package. I'm going to read those to you. But first off, just formally, if you'll note, there's a letter dated today's date to Mayor and Council requesting recusal of Mayor John Reno and Council Member Linda Velasquez. Um, so that is a formal request in writing that that occur. I want to read you a verified affidavit, one by Mr. Ed Gilderubio, signed under oath, one by Jim Jolly. I'm going to read Mr. Gilderubio's out loud. I, Ed Gilderubio, being sworn in a lawful age to state and affirm as follows. My name is Ed Gilderubio. I am the city manager of the city of Trinidad. When I took the job, I swore to support and uphold the Home Rule Charter and ordinances of the city of Trinidad. The police chief, Charles Glorioso, is a department head who answers directly to me. The charter requires that I am responsible for the enforcement of the laws and ordinances for the city. In June of 2011, I met with Council Member Velasquez about rumors that illegal gambling was going on at Gino's Bar, a business that she owned. Velasquez denied that any gambling was occurring, any occurring was, was illegal. I advised her that it would not be a matter of if the gambling at Gino's was investigated, but when. In other words, it was going to be investigated. In this meeting, Velasquez stated that Glorioso should not be the chief of police. After meeting with Glorioso, I advised him to proceed with an investigation that included outside law enforcement and regulatory agencies. As a result of that investigation, Gino's was raided and criminal charges were filed against Velasquez for illegal gambling. The charges against Velasquez also included making improper statements and threats against Glorioso. According to records of the district attorney's office, Velasquez specifically made the following threatening statements directly to Glorioso while shaking her finger at him. I'm pissed. Who called them in? Paybacks are a bitch and you will pay for this. According to records of the district attorney's office, she also stated that she was, in quotation marks, the liquor board, in quotation marks, for the city. Velasquez knew from the DA's reports that I had agreed to proceed with a further investigation by the Colorado Department of Liquor Enforcement, the same investigation that eventually resulted in the Geno's raid. I consider Glorioso to be one of the finest chiefs of police that I have worked with, and I have publicly made this statement many times. It is no secret that his position is secure as long as I am the city manager. Later in the year, when the subject of my evaluation was an issue, I believed that there could be a quid pro quo get rid of the chief and I could keep my job. In December of 2011, City Council held a liquor license hearing regarding Gino's bar and gambling. Gino's received a 20